Hello everybody, Mr. Silvera here with Backyard Enrichment video number three. Uh, beautiful day today, nice to see the sun, not a cloud in the sky, still a little breezy. We're going to have temperatures around 50, so it'll be an excellent day to get outside and do some investigation in the backyard. Yesterday wasn't such a good day. We did manage to spend some time outside. We had a basketball game, and uh, after supper we had yet another Clue game. Mr. Silvera was not victorious this time. Jake took the second round of Clue. Uh, it was Mrs. White with the lead pipe in the ballroom. Anyway, today's a great day to get outside. We'll start our video today with a with a appreciation again. We started that yesterday. We're going to throw out some appreciation for somebody who's made a difference uh, in, in the life of Mr. Severo. We'll do that every day. And today, I'd like to highlight another friend of mine, uh, Mr. Tommy Whalen. Mr. Whalen worked at the junior high. He was an eighth grade English teacher. And he actually used to make videos. He's actually a video production teacher at the high school now. And with his eighth grade students, he used to make videos. And he's the one who got me interested and taught me the basics of video making. He's given me a lot of advice since then and kept me interested in making videos. So thank you, Mr. T, for your influence on video making. It's something that I enjoy doing to this day, and I appreciate you. Today, we're going to talk about birds. You'll notice over my shoulder, you'll see my bird feeders. I have three kinds of bird feeders in my yard. I have a sunflower seed feeder, a thistle feeder, and a suet feeder. Each of these different kinds of feeders attracts a different kind of bird. I got interested in bird watching in my time at UMass. I actually had a class uh, that was titled Basic Bird Watching. Professor Nutting, who is a legend at UMass, a longtime zoology and biology professor there, taught the class. And at 6 o'clock in the morning, a couple days a week, we used to report to the classroom. He would pile us into a van that he would drive and take us around to different locations, showing us different kinds of birds and teaching us about the different places where birds live and the different kinds of birds that we could see out there in Western Mass. I really learned a lot from him and developed a lifelong love of birds uh, from him. Since then, I've had a bird feeder in my yard, every yard that I've had. I actually have my golden field guide, uh, guide to bird identification that I used to use uh, back at UMass, and I still have it to look up different kinds of birds today. We're going to focus on one particular visitor to the feeder, very common in spring. That would be the black cap chickadee. I'm guessing we will highlight some other birds in our engagement backyard enrichment videos as we're going to have a little bit extra time to do that. We're going to have to make a few more videos. So let's take a look at the black capped chickadee. The black capped chickadee is a small, non migratory North American songbird that lives in deciduous and mixed forests. It is a state bird of Massachusetts and of Maine in the United States, and it's the provincial bird of New Brunswick in Canada. In winter, black-capped chickadees eat about half seeds, berries, and other plant matter, and half animal food, insects, spiders, suet, sometimes fat, and bits of meat from frozen carcasses. In spring, summer, and fall, insects, spiders, and other animal food make up 80 to 90 percent of their diet. At feeders, they mostly take sunflower seeds, peanuts, suet, peanut butter, and mealworms. They peck a hole in the shell and then chip out and eat tiny bits of seed while expanding the hole. Both male and female chickadees excavate a cavity in a site to build a nest, usually selected by the female. Once the nest chamber is hollowed out, it averages 21 centimeters deep. The female builds a cup-shaped nest hidden within using moss and other coarse material for foundation and lining it with softer materials such as rabbit fur. Chickadees are active, acrobatic, curious, social birds that live in flocks Often, often associated with woodpeckers, nuthatches, wobblers, vireos, and other small woodland species. They feed on insects and seeds, but seldom perch within several feet of one another while taking food or eating. Flocks have calls with specific meanings, and they sometimes may contain some characteristics of human language. The black-capped chickadee has a very distinct song with two different versions that you can hear here. So that's our backyard enrichment video for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit about the chickadee. Uh, get out in the yard today. It'll be a nice day. There'll be a lot of birds around in the springtime. Take a look. If you see something you don't know what it is, jump online. See if you can figure out what bird it is and see if we can learn something. That's it for today. I'll have another video for you tomorrow. Let's see what's on the feeder right now.